Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm excited to be participating in a video hop today to share our favorite fall colors or just fall colors in general. Uh, so the idea behind this, this hop was to give some inspiration for creating fall cards, but not Halloween specifically, um, just those that are autumn or fall related. And so I decided part of my favorite time of the year, well, I mean, my favorite time of the year is fall. And a huge part of that is being able to go to all the fall festivals and the pumpkin patches and just all of the gorgeous fall colors and I decided to go ahead and make a little semi scene card based on all my feelings about fall <laughs> uh, so I'm using two lawn fawn sets here one of them is called happy harvest and then the other is actually a Christmas set called toboggan together uh, and that's where that little deer comes from but I thought the deer was perfect for my little fall card so I just snagged him right from that winter set and that's one of the big things that I love about lawn fawn is you can really mix and match and it doesn't really Really matter um, because you can use a lot of those sets together to create scenes. So from Happy Harvest I'm using the pumpkins and you can see here I am creating a mask for that tiny little pumpkin using some full sticky post-it notes. I just went ahead and fussy cut that and then I'm layering everything on top so I can get an idea of where things are going to overlap and where to stamp everything out. I'm using my mini Misty to make sure that my stamping is perfect and always lined up just in case I need a second or third impression for my stamped image. And I find that the Misty really makes it easy to do that. Uh, so while I've still got that tiny pumpkin covered up with my mask, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my cute little deer. Uh, and I am going to be doing some Copic coloring just kidding, it's not Copics, it's Spectrum Noirs. Um, I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers for this and um, I'm going to go ahead and do that alcohol marker coloring, uh, but I do need to cut another mask first. So this is for the larger pumpkin. I did stamp out the deer just in case I needed it, but I didn't end up using it. So I did only use the two little pumpkins, which made this a really easy little scene to put together. Uh, once I had that mask off, I did go ahead and get the wagon all set up and ready to go. That wagon is from the same Happy Harvest stamp set. I really, really like that stamp set. It's new to me. It's definitely not a new set, but uh, I have been really loving on it. It's getting a lot of attention this fall. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that out. Now the black ink that I'm using is an alcohol ink friendly ink. <laughs> um, and it is the Spectrum Noir Finesse Noir Black ink. Uh, so it's perfectly safe for creating alcohol um, alcohol marker backgrounds and whatnot. Uh, so I am popping up the color names or numbers as I use them. I'm doing the best I can to make it right at the right time, but sometimes they get a little bit off. But let me know what you guys think about this. This is something I've been trying out recently, and I'd love to know what you think, if it's convenient or handy, if you like it or if it's annoying. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think. <laughs> uh, so while I'm doing this coloring, I am going to let you know, like I said, that this is part of a hop. Uh, so make sure that you click down into the description below and check out the next stop on the hop so that you don't miss anything. I know that a lot of the stops are offering prizes, so definitely check around and see what there is if you're interested. You might find somebody that you weren't following before uh, that you'd like to start following. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. It really helps my channel when you guys interact and engage, so that is always very much appreciated. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music while I finish up coloring because it is quite a bit of coloring here. Uh, and then I'm going to do some ink blending as well, so I'll keep the, um, the music on for that, but I do have the color names listed the same way I have the marker colors now. Um, and again, just let me know what you think. See you in a couple minutes.
All right, so now that I am done with my coloring and my ink blending, we are back at it to finish the rest of the card. I am using the Distress Sprayer here, spritzing the water directly into my hand and then flicking it right at my Distress Oxide blended background. I'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds and while it sits, it is really oxidizing, so it is uh, interacting with the ink and the water. Everything is kind of mixing together and then when you lift it or clean it with the clean paper towel, you get that faded or oxidized look and I really really like the way that that looks uh, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down the panel here I didn't want it to be my entire background I just wanted it to be a portion of the card and I uh, was not really sure exactly what size I wanted it to be so I did kind of put it back on the card and see and then I thought mm, that's too long so I went ahead and cut it down a bit more I ended up cutting it down to 3.75 uh, in height and then I left it at four and a quarter for the width so it's the entire front of the card as far as the width goes then I decided that I wanted to go ahead and cut the little scene that I created out and layer it right on top. Now, I was inspired to create this card by a card that I saw by someone who makes cards. Her name is Samantha Mann, and she is amazingly talented. She always has the super cutest Lawn Fawn cards and Newton's Nook. Um, she just has really, really inspiring cards. And I saw one that she had made for Newton's Nook uh, with this sort of concept where it had the ink blended background but it wasn't the whole of the card uh, and then it kind of had a little scene sort of hanging off the bottom and I really really liked the way that that looked so I kind of put my own spin on it and made my own little scene and then went with a plain black stamped sentiment up at the top but I was absolutely inspired by her card so I definitely wanted to put her name in here and um, just include that her card was amazing I'm actually going to link to it below in the description in case you guys want to check it or her out. Um, I think you should definitely follow her on Instagram if you're not already. Um, okay, so just finishing up the card, I did use the little Lawn Fawn glue pen to attach my scene down there at the bottom. And now, like I said, I am using uh, black ink for a mini thanks sentiment. Um, and I really like the simplicity of that. I tend to go a little overboard with my cards sometimes, so this was a really nice change for me. All right, here is a look at the finished card and the color map if you want to pause and take a screenshot. I hope that you guys loved the video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Be sure to keep hopping for more inspiration for fall colors and I will see you guys in another video really soon.